Friday, Friday, eh, you know, it was your parliament tonight. Now, you're trying to come on the same day tonight, you know. Um, honorable Lydia Alassan Serum. Who's the Kojo? Now, Wednesday on the eighth, you know. Nay, Women's Day, Emma Ma, Mana, Women's Day, International Women's Day. But as I said, President Becker said that he didn't say, Omo in Yahoo, and Yede, Aunt Man come out in the day. And so much to be said Friday. It's a Friday, no more trans, you know, as an obesity debate in our channel. The chairperson, Cruise <laughs> Uh, we uh, free SSS now, program now, President Nado, Eddie Abbey Jano, or the buy Eddie Mani Manfono, a boy, a man, 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 a and innovation and technology for gender inequality. Ah, yeah, honorable, Communication and digitalization. And that, no, no. Omo, omo the program we have to watch. Eh. Now, before I be, before I be from Dennis. Nini akujo. Before I be born, I be to us no. I now we say omo ye or kasa or parliament house or mana Lydia Forsen. Lydia Forsen. Lydia Lassa kasa. Eh, or parliament house or no. Okay. <coughs> and the uh, or make it this statement. And or your statement to require and sana and debate and kasan kasa the chat here. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So you you been ya konya na kye tie eh the okay eh our parliament house na. Eh the okay no enu na kasa do me for my mouse here we are na ka o the the okay no wait here for no kasa na no. Okay. Yet yeah. yet tie. Okay no no okay. Eh uh, program no I say, oh my, oh my, so um, make me pick up some kwabe five hundred. I work on it now. So make me um, bank kwanso fifty thousand. I work I see you make me. You see me a kojo. In some way, I know this is ya. On the International Women's Day, Christmas on the eighth of March, twenty twenty three. But I do so at the risk of sounding trite and banal, given that it has become an annual ritual for such solidarity messages and statements to be made without necessarily following through with actions that would ultimately improve the lot of women. That notwithstanding, it is appropriate to utilize this occasion to reflect on how far we have come as a nation and the world in general in championing the agenda of women. Indeed, Mr. Speaker, a flip through the atlas of human history reveals 
that some significant milestones have been achieved in bringing issues in bringing issues affecting women to the front banner and subsequently changing the path of change on how the world perceives and treats women. Are our men listening? Are they interested? Thank you. Okay, okay. Yet, you are. The Minister for Communication and Digitalization. On also can also no back and up. And I'll say, Minya by the Minya by Ayano Cray. Now, Ocean Prosua, thirty per cent of Ma and a war assets. In the developing country, you know, and in the developing world, you know, 30% of Mbappe and they want access to the internet. Mm -hmm. And uh, what you compare the developed world now, uh, 92% and they want access to internet. In the future, as a developing uh, uh, world, you know, you are catching pa 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 And the SSA, uh, you should be providing uh, Mbappe and now uh, on internet uh, access. No mutu ye juma and yes ah at the ye mo market three and banana sound club to none at the economy in the second way as I said one trillion one trillion dollars and uh yeah be shri and bra and ye try say you be ba every um we have to say or moon join me internet service and also or moon held you to office the army over one trillion dollars a year say you lose you in the effect that one trillion dollars the bank na na you lose you that you can do that you are my hope and now um bansu it's me do tomorrow um bansu to me in your office is not now um bansu it's me heading and um offices and i say a human to be brave now you are my hope and i'm bansu to me in your fine into the end here here or not to a car here so that 50 percent of the global population would also be able to contribute their quota effectively to the development of our world. We cannot sit back and allow them to be shut out merely because of cultural biases, atti attitudes, lack of access to digital skills and technology, Cruise the thinking that this space is a man's world and that women cannot learn if they are given the opportunity. As indicated in the statement, we've, made that a, a, we've taken a deliberate effort to increase the access and opportunity that women and girls have to digital technology over the years. And Mr. Speaker, the statistics are horrendous. And we need to really act actively to, to change them. Only 2% of positions in artificial intelligence and other related fields are held by women, 2%. And that's where the world is heading Cruise towards. Since 2017, even though the celebration of Girls in ICT Day started in 2012, we've taken it to another level and have institutionalized it and have trained some 10,000 girls across the country since, 20, uh, since 2012. But from 2017 to date, We've trained some 8,000 girls, 3,000 alone last year. We planned to train 5,000, but we ran out of funds. And so we could only do 3,000. This year, we're actively seeking support to be able to reach our target of 5,000 girls around the country. And we plan to go to the Savannah, Northern regions, and the Eastern, Volta, and Greater Accra regions where we'll train a thousand girls in each region from some of the remotest parts of the region, a hundred teachers to institutionalize it. So Okay. Yo Koju and Tino um honorable Syrian S O Yana or Kasayano Ah Yema me or Slam Uku and so sorry or back in the afternoon. Omu Yana uh debate no S R C Na dibeti ni echa kiyo, 
Yemra Dominic Nitiwo, Honorable Dominic Nitiwo, ah, Osai to ye, the defense minister. No, Osori, we now find Osori, our Katan Okate. Gana form to Gana for SS Omuyin Amia and Omuyin and Nadu, ah, because. As you say, performance as you say, or or my dear, actually, in terms of the economy and not any way, as Frank or my dear, who said, Ah, near my bit is security, social service, infrastructure, the economy, and other factors. And no, and I said, the old share and son of YJ, and the economy there is airport. And of course, you can say, and look for that, and see who said, security is very important, and this is an another. I'm for security for any any day. And we are going on. Okay. What triple Cruise salary? FN. What triple security forces in our salary? I'm almost no one say yet. What is it a dime? I'm almost in a bed ya. I'm going to draw more because the security ni the whole train a car. Now I've been why. But now so far I've been born and I've been seeing a bad thing. It's not a new hope and protect. You have my security. I had it. Look at when you are judging the performance of a government. One of it is security, social services, infrastructure. The economy, FM. and of course, other things that will follow. Mr. Speaker, the President took enough time to let us know that there are challenges when it comes to the economy. And the obvious reasons are there for everybody to see around the world. All over the world, nations are facing real economic challenges real economic challenges around the world, from Kenya to Nigeria to the United States to France to Togo to everywhere. Everybody is facing real economic challenges. So Ghana is not left out. Cruise FM. But Mr. President, the President threw a challenge to all of us. And so far, nobody has disputed what he said. Okay. That when it comes to infrastructure, especially in the road sector, the amount of work he has done is unparalleled. But Mr. Speaker, what he did not do... Mm. Okay. Yo, Kojo. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to say. 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 Kojo, I don't know what Ah. Mimi and my MPP. Now we are sure we are handling. Last year November, the finance minister ever had a budget or reported one hundred and twenty-six companies. And a year to match it here, one hundred and twenty-six companies a year to match it here under the one D one F program. But in the state of the nation address and present, I put forward the best we can. On also by on also say one hundred and six. Companies and a year, and the rest of the 20 companies now, finance minister, no ever reporting. I don't know how far he's gone. And I saw what I cut to us, so say, okay, ah, now constitution, no plan, I did the Amode Wawa, Nanado, why are the other one in your parliament? I can't know. And then the performance of the constitution, as a state president, no other parliament, no other address, and nation, no. And all this one to say, uh, President Ebbo to say, and we are restored allowances of messes, any tickets to leave. But cars are not opening now. No, now, all the messes, only tickets of worker, even unless the four of the 2021, 
Okay. Okay. Almost, there's a house of records, and it's important for us to interrogate some of the figures they provide to us in this house. Just November, the president calls the Minister of Finance to present before this house the 2023 budget. And in paragraph 598, the president reported to this house that 126 companies are under operation under the Wendy 1F program. In the State of the Nation address, specifically, Page 9, the President reports that 106 companies are in operation currently. Is the President implied that from November to March we have lost 20 of the companies? <laughs> These are the issues that we need to interrogate. And then, also, Mr. Speaker, the President's appearance here was in fulfillment of a constitutional provision that requires the president to deliver to us the representatives of the people of Ghana, the state of the nation. And so if the president mentions restoration of uh, allowances to nurses and teacher training uh, students, one expects that the president will tell us the state of that program. But the president just mentioned that we have restored the payment of allowances. Mr. Speaker, what is the state of that program to be? As we speak, students who completed nursing training colleges and teacher training colleges in 2021, and they are at home today, government is owing them eight months of their allowances. Oh. Mr. Speaker, those who completed in 2022 last year, government owes them 13 months. And those who are in the, in the second year, none of them mm. have been paid a penny mm. as an allowance. So yes, you claim you have restored it, but the true statement is that government is unable to pay. Wow. Okay. To ask my man. Did you have a Mm-hmm. Eh, one can say, Eric, you can say, Ojima, so, one can say, Ah, now, President, I'm going to parliament. In 2019, now by the parliament in 2019, every day 30 million Ghana CD and or can say or they for fighting the illegal mining. But and then then they are here say or the cocoa board above and say Abeka say illegal mining no ah yes yeah cocoa no ah affecting many nine thousand hectares of cocoa farms. Mm. Who mentioned illegal money? The president mentioned illegal money Cruise and FM. lamented over the devastating effects of illegal money on our environment and on the water bodies. Mr. Speaker, we wanted the president to update this house on the state of the fight against illegal money. Because you recall that in 2019, the president came to this house. And the House approved 30 million Ghana cities. Mr. Speaker, 300 billion old cities for the president to fight the canker of illegal money in this country. Today, Cocoa Board is reporting that illegal money has affected 19,000 hectares okay. of cocoa farms in this country. Mm -hmm. Mr. Speaker, as you speak, illegal digging and unregulated use of milky by this galamsey has affected 81% of cocoa farm lines in eastern region, mm. the president's own region. 74% of cocoa farm lines in western region have been affected. Mm. In the Shanti region, we are talking about over 68%. Because mm. mm. these three regions contribute 90% of the total volume of cocoa that is produced in this country. So this will give you an impression of the state of the cocoa industry in our country today. Okay. Our farmers are losing their investments. Mm -hmm. Mr. Speaker, they are losing their source of livelihoods. 
Ghana is losing its investment in the cocoa sector. Mm. Cocoa production declined last year by 34%, unprecedented in the history of this country. Mm -hmm. Mr. Speaker, so poverty among cocoa farmers can never be attributable to COVID-19 or Ukraine-Russia war. Mm. Mr. Speaker, as you speak, the multi-billion CD uh, cocoa processing uh, subsector is in distress. Of okay, okay. Okay, Yanko. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 was cocoa, gold, and timber. Sometimes also remittances from abroad. We realized that we needed new growth goals to ensure that they serve as pillars to support this economy going forward. And so we came up with what we call the strategic anchor industries. This is what has built the auto industry that today we are all boosting up. We are looking at the salt industry. We are looking at the palm oil industry. industry. We are looking at the pharmaceutical industry. We are looking at 10 other areas to generate enough revenue to support our economy. We are not naysayers or boastful talkers. We say we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will not just give 120 million to a sector Cruise and let them use it for nothing and we still cannot meet the problem. The problem. Let's that. What I want my colleagues to understand is that if we need an alternative to MPP, they cannot serve as an alternative. Because we know what they did when they were in power. Mm -hmm. We know what they were able to achieve. Yes, Today, look at where we are, we are now. But for COVID, but for Ukraine, Russia, we will have been flying up very high. Yes, yes. Honorable yes. member. But we can say, without blinking an eye, that before 2024, we are all in this canal. President Kukwado, and this government will turn this economy around. And you will see <laughs> that we are doers of our way. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Breaking the aid. Breaking the aid. Wonderful. Young Kwe. Kojo. Orozo, Carlos, I hear you. Orozo, Carlos, I hear you. Eka so ye yana. Yera, Sam George. Yera, Sam George, you so ye no say. Ah. Na MPP for pa, then I'm going to move to the ye. And Sam Ben, I'm going to move to the ye. Oh, can Obo, um, you are not to be a defense minister. Obo, did you not say, uh, Mr. Speaker? Did you are sorry, Edna Chamber Wemo, a cafe? I buy the anyone, or buy a obesity, and I am a cruise and then before. Let's have been all kind of time. Not as a way on Mr. Speaker, what is all that I am? Emra. Uh, Yaba, Emra, your mama, what to know? Yaba, if you will, 
Emma, Mama, Yanamo for agreement. That I did loan. Say, you could see a dying Emma. Um, believe me for a brother, my dear Mama, and I was a was no. And what I got even Ghana never had quarters at Obama, a Bama camp. It was commissioned on the 11th of August 2016 by John Ramani Mahama. Mm-hmm. on the 19th of October 2012, John Mahama is a man military for yeah. aircraft. aircraft. Yes. And now, on the 19th and we go for that thing. Almost a man, almost a two-bedroom house. Ah, a baku, 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 136. OK. And the man military for, and I to say, and I'm going to say, i to say, I'm going 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 to say, i am Mr. Speaker, this house has approved loan agreements for military housing for, for our services under President Mahama. Mr. Speaker, the Naval Headquarters, the Minister for Defense, he is the minister who oversees the Navy of our country. The Ghana Naval Headquarters in Burma Camp was commissioned on the 11th of August 2016 by President Mahama. That the minister doesn't know. Mr. Speaker, on the 19th of October 2012, President Muhammad commissioned hangars, simulators, and aircraft for the military. Mr. Speaker, Ms. President Muhammad commissioned security housing in Tema, 136 two-bedroom units and 32 three-bedroom flats. If those are not housing for the military, I don't know what the defense minister is talking about. The, Mr. Speaker, in Labadi village in Burma Camp, which is the heart of our military installation, President Muhammad commissioned housing units for officers of the Ghana Armed Forces. In Botema, the affordable housing projects that were abandoned by President Kufo, when President Muhammad took over, six units, six of those units, and I'm happy that the former housing minister is here. Wonderful. It's the video for you. And see, ah, and I know, ah, and I'm Friday, you know. Okay. The summer, a quarter, a whole, if you hold them, if you catch you, you know. That's the way it is. But before I can't say Nitywood. I can't say I don't know what is what you want to say. I hope you parliament also. Okay. 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 Investigations are air Okay. And also So I uh, double no to say that I am going to say that I I am going I Make a parliamentary house where they are bred many metier for your mission. No count. Okay. Um, all right. I will need Dennis, a cruise FM correspondent at Parliament House. Oh no, and now, oh boy, and Friday, the course, so I'm not sure if you know what can one seven nine that change. I'm not doing what's it and um, Parliament House and Tina, I'm not doing what China and now, I'm better at the China. No, you're best answer at the Hong Kong. No, and so at the